Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Wednesday in the second week in Ordinary Time, the Memorial of St. Margaret of Hungary. St. Margaret was born in 1242, the daughter of Bela IV, King of Hungary, and Maria Lascaris, daughter of the Emperor of Constantinople. Before her birth, her parents had made a vow to dedicate her to God if Hungary would be victorious over the invading of Tartans. When almost four years old, Margaret was placed in the Dominican monasteries of Vesparim. At the age of 12, she moved to a new monasteries built by her father near Buddha and there made her profession into the hands of Humbert of Romans. Margaret lived a life totally dedicated to Christ crucified and inspired her sisters by her asceticism, works of mercy, pursuit of peace, and humble service. She had a special love for the Eucharist and the Passion of Christ and showed a special devotion to the Holy Spirit and Our Lady. Despite her noble lineage, Saint Margaret distinguished herself for humility and poverty. She zealously kept all monastic observances and showed her charity and service to the sick. She died on January 18, 1270. We will now have the morning prayers of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed Him. Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed Him. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed Him. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, Come let us, us worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed Him. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins, virgins who followed Him. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, Come let us worship the Lamb with the virgins, virgins who followed Him. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins, virgins who followed Him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship the Lamb with the virgins, virgins who followed Him. him. O God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled, I could not speak. I thought the days of long ago, and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart, 
and I pondered my spirit question. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will He show us His favor no more? Has His love vanished forever? Has His promise come to an end? Does God forget His mercy or in anger withhold His compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeem your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The skies sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea. Your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My heart leaps up with joy to the Lord, for He humbles only to exalt us. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. From an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap he lifts up the poor to sit them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and He has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of His faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may He give strength to His King and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice, and right. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All your spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted above all spirit. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to His holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray.
O God of truth, through the Holy Spirit, you bless our sister Margaret with true humility. Teach us that same integrity so that we may constantly turn from our selfishness to your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Melchizedek, king of Salem and priest of God Most High, met Abraham as he returned from his defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham apportioned to him a tenth of everything. His name first means righteous king, and he was also king of Salem, that is, king of peace. He that father, mother, or ancestry, he that beginning of this or end of life, thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. It is even more obvious if another priest is raised up after the likeness of Melchizedek who has become so, not by a law expressed in a, law, in a commandment concerning physical descent, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it is satisfied you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power, the Lord, will stretch forth from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor, before the day star, like the Jew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn and he will not repent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Please stand. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he could cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? 
but they rem remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grief at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. For those who have visited the Minor Basilica during the Christmas season at uh, nakita ninyo ng malapitan yung bilen, you might have noticed na it was not a, the typical bilen. Well, andun pa naman dapat yung mga ando doon dapat. Andun ng ating Panginoon, andun si Maria, andun si Jose. But there were more. Um, yung mga hayop na ando doon, hindi lang tupa, hindi lang baka, kundi uh, merong aso, merong rooster, at dito sa bandang dito merong isang usa. And then it was not also the typical number of shepherds may mga nadagdag pa na mga uh, tawag nito, mga pastol uh, doon sa doon sa nativity set, doon sa Belen. And uh, when the father is here, and even some of the lay people were talking about it, uh, some were uncomfortable with hindi typical na Belen. Bakit merong, bakit merong aso? Bakit merong tandang? <laughs> bakit merong usa sa typical Belen? Kung meron kayo sa bahay ninyo, wala namang ganoon. And then even the number of shepherds ay medyo marami. So, uh, naging usap-usapan yun, naging discussion, naging uh, may mga debate pa nga kung si ano dapat yung ando doon sa bilin. But thinking about it, it's also a kind of a challenge, a challenge to all of us, particularly those na nakapansin, about yung mga views natin mga nakagawian na, yun na lang lagi. Yung mga anda dapat na ando doon, yun na lang all throughout the years and all throughout the, the century. At, but what was uh, the, that nativity set no, provided us is also to challenge our view about ano ba talaga, sino ba talaga dapat included doon sa nativity set na yun. Ilan ba talaga yung mga tao na ando doon dapat? It expands our imagination. It allows us to, ma to imagine more about, I'm very sure, yung Panginoon, mas gusto niyang medyo marami-rami naman yung ando doon sa kanyang bilen na makakakita. Uh, in the gospel that we read today, it's also a challenge. And then very challenging indeed, sapagat uh, when, when the man with the withered hand, komang, started shouting to the Lord, Lord, cure me. Lord, I need to be cured. Your Lord, I want to be cured. I need healing because this hand of mine has been withered for a long, long time. And I saw a chance today that you are here and you can hear me at that I'm asking you, begging you to heal me. Ang problema nga lang, it happened during the Sabbath. At sa mga Hudyo, the Sabbath is very sacred. You don't even, uh, you're not even allowed to lift your finger to do work, no, on a Sabbath. And that's why people, particularly the Pharisees, particularly those who are in authority, were looking at what the Lord will be doing. Because the withered man, the man with the withered hand, kept on shouting and begging and asking for help. He saw the opportunity. Andito na yung Panginoon and the chance ako na to. Um, meron nga lang akong konting uh, tawag nito, puna doon sa law ng Sabbath. The law of the Sabbath is good, no? Uh, pero di ba, kapag kalinggo, yun naman yung mga panahon na talagang uh, sumisigaw kayo, humihingi kayo ng tulong sa langit, 
di ba? You come for mass. You you praise. And then we do work. Particularly na yung mga pare. Kaya nga, Sabbath is not uh, for us. Uh, it's not a day of rest for us. It's a day of work for us. No? Because people kept on shouting, kept on asking, kept on begging for to be healed, to be heard no? by the Lord particularly. And, and therefore, it involves work. In the gospel that we read today, ganun din. People were looking at the Lord, ano kaya ang gagawin niya? Will He do something that will break the Sabbath? According to the traditional, according to the typical, according to the conservative view of how to respect the Sabbath. And this is what the Lord did. Something revolutionary, something that challenges us to put the greater good in front of us, to attend to the greater good. Kaya nga ang tanong ng Panginoon, is it better to do good or not to do good on a Sabbath day? Is it, is it more praising to God to do good or not to do good? And he, without even waiting for, for the response, he already told the man with the withered hand, stretch your hand. If you notice well in the gospel, he did not simply say, be cured, go home and be cured. He asked the man to do something, something that might be during the Sabbath, might also be against the law. But the man had the courage to do something good, even on, on a day that might put him in a difficult situation. Pamilyar tayo dyan sapagkat sa maraming pagkakataon, may mga pagkakataon sa buhay natin that we would rather just stay silent sapagkat if we speak, mm -hmm, we might be going against powerful people. We, if we speak, if we do something, we might be bashed. If we lift a finger to do something good na merong matatabunan, eh, mukhang baka malagay tayo sa alanganin. In the gospel, the challenge is not only na malaparan yung pananaw natin, it challenges us doon sa ating mga pananaw, but it's also reminding us that to do the greater good, to obey the law of God rather than the law of man is something more important to God rather than to man. Ganda, no? Kaya lang, towards the end of the gospel, if you listen well, pagkatapos gawin ng Panginoon nung mabuti, what happened? You will encounter in the gospel, you will hear in the gospel that after the Lord did something good, that was also the time that the people in authority started plotting against him. And how to trip him, how na masilo siya, and then to plot against him. Kaya nga, risky sometimes yung paggawa ng mabuti. Kaya nga, maraming mga tao that would rather say, wag kang makialam, mapapahama ka dyan. Minimum lang yung gawin mo, don't rock the boat, don't put changes, don't call out people who have not been doing something good. Don't, don't rock the boat. Konti lang. Pagka ganoon, oftentimes, para na tayong mga typical and traditional politicians. We don't rock the boat kasi pagdating ng eleksyon, baka tayo balikan. In the gospel, our Lord is revolutionary. Our Lord challenges our view, our typical and our usual way. And our Lord in the gospel also reminds us that what God wants usually is not aligned with what the self-interest of man is. I remember very much nung buhay pa si John Paul II, now Saint John Paul II, during World Youth Day in 1995, when he would talk to the youth and before leaving, John Paul II would always say this word, Coraggio, 
coraggio, coraggio, meaning courage, courage, and courage. Because to do something good is very challenging. To speak the truth is sometimes oh, risky and will put us in the in harm's way. At, at the same time, ang ganda sa pagkat doing God's work in the gospel that we read today is more important than simply complying with the requirements of man. So when the Lord would ask all of us here today, stretch out your hand. Will we have the courage to do that? To speak the truth, to stand up to what is right, and to do good, even in a very challenging circumstances. Kind of awesome. Let us pray to God, our Heavenly Father, that He may continue to inspire young men and women to live the gospel for the sake of the kingdom. Let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, may she continue to fulfill her mission of bringing good news of salvation to all peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work for the cause of women and the upright village, may they continually seek inspiration and guidance in the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, the elderly, and the abandoned, may they find peace and solace in the cross of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all Christian families, May their imitation of the family of Nazareth be set fetch for priestly and religious vocations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the Dominican nuns, may their silent witnesses of the faith through prayer and sacrifice serve as a source of strength and support to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Now we pause for a while and in silence, you may now offer your personal intentions. Merciful Father, hear the prayers of your people who earnestly long to see your face. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of creation. For your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands and made it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of creation. For your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. 
Accept our gifts, Lord, as we recall our sister Margaret and the humble gift of herself for her own people. Give us peace in Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands and he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as without, as with one voice we acclaim. Therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you build us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Peace. 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 you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, the blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Offer yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has yes, raised up for us a mighty Savior, Savior born, born of the house of His, of his servant, servant David. David. Through His holy, holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from, from the hands of all who hate David. us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the Otis word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Offer yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Let us pray. O oh Lord, you have refreshed us at this heavenly banquet by following the example of St. Margaret of Hungary. May we use the goods of this passing world so that we may be found worthy to come at last to eternal joys. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa pakikiisa po ninyo sa banal na misa. Konting information lang po and then update yung project po natin na Abong ni Inang Maria uh, Outreach Center ay uh, nangangalahati na po uh, 
Ang, uh, ang tinitingnan po namin pag uh, completion ng project ay end of February or uh, first week ng March. We will continue to inform you po sapagkat you know very much that uh, we are uh, able to do this work because of your generosity and because of your help. Continue to pray for the many projects, the scholarship, the repairs, and then the museum project of the Minor Basilica leading to her uh, centenary ng kanyang canonical coronation. Maraming maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall... We shall now say the prayer po for the blessing na mga may sakit and di dito, nasa bahay, mga kaibigan ninyo, kakilala, we pray for them. And this is to be followed by the prayer for the blessing po ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, freedom from all illness and restore them to good health to the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Para naman po sa inyong mga religious articles, let's bless them. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.